is my procrastin- This is my procrastin- Why can't I say that word? Hi you guys, my name is Sarah and if you like furniture makeovers, you're in the right spot. Don't go anywhere. I'm an Aussie living in Nashville, Tennessee with my family and I make over, paint and repurpose a lot of furniture. If you like that sort of content, please consider subscribing. That would be amazing. Welcome to my little shop. This is 445 Designs. This is my procrastination. Peace. 100% hands down. It's taken me two weeks to do this, but I'm on it. Stick around if you want to see what I've done to this. Let's get into it. off the end of my drill into the cup <laughs> that's crazy I could not have done that if I was trying So I'm going to remove the front face and I'm going to have to cut down the side because a few weeks ago, beautiful D Decker <laughs> bought me these from my Amazon wish list and they are going to go on the side. Let's do that. I'm gonna cut probably, what is that, two and a half inches, probably. Is that how much that is? One, two, maybe three inches. About three inches off of it so they sit flush with the base. And I'm also going to respray them. So I want the hardware and the legs to be the same gold, so I'm going to spray these and those all the same in my favorite Rustoleum metallic gold spray paint. Okay, this piece has taken me two weeks to complete. I started at the beginning of our Christmas holidays, but you know, it's Christmas. We got busy doing other things, 
So, the end of our Christmas holidays. So I'm finishing this up now. I have also been procrastinating about what color to paint it. I landed on yesterday. I went and picked up some furniture and stopped into an antique mall and found some more. A Dixie Bell retailer. Not really near me, but I seized the moment. And needed black so I'm painting it black and staining it. I end up doing two full coats for really good coverage and then in spots where it was still a bit lighter, like showing some of the wood underneath, I just went over in those spots but it really only needed two full coats and then that half coat. My daughter just bought in a box, Deborah. <gasps> and a pool thank you seriously it's gonna be perfect for what i am doing i want it to go there i am so grateful thank you so much
This piece is one of the two pieces that have been giving me a hard time. It is not Frank. Frank is still in the garage. I will get to Frank one day. But this guy, everything was going fine other than me just waffling on and taking a long time to make decisions. <laughs> right up until when, uh, when I did the first polyurethane coat, everything was great. Then the temperatures dropped dramatically and the last two top coats that I did on it, I did not wait long enough and there were brush strokes, I wasn't happy. I sanded just the top of the base part back to bare wood, primed it, painted it, I scuffed everything again, gave it another coat of paint and polyed it. And then I waited like a week and a half and noticed my polyurethane was too thick. And that was probably, I didn't notice it before and that was probably some of my mistake before with the brush strokes. So I thinned it out, which you can do with polyurethane with metho or mineral spirits and you just use the smallest amount and you stir very slowly because you don't want to stir it right up and get bubbles in there. And so I did that and much happier. I love the two-toned brown and black look. I think that that is a perfect marriage of colors and I'm ready to sell it. I'll probably list it in the next day or two, just give it a little extra dry time. <laughs> Heads up of things coming. I'm doing another challenge with a group of YouTubers. It's hosted this time by Clara over on No Can Do. It is a high-end dupe. You would have seen the piece actually <laughs> when I was putting this together. I will be making over that piece. So if you hit the bell notifications, you'll get notified when that goes up. Next week's piece, you guys. I'm excited, I'm doing collaboration with a fellow flipper and YouTuber. His name is Nicola, his YouTube channel is Paint Me Blue by Nicola. You guys have to check him out. We are doing a Valentine's Day makeover of our pieces. I am at a disadvantage, I have to tell you, Nicola lives in France, he lives in Paris, so he is in the romance capital of the world and so I feel like I'm quite disadvantaged but all good I'm still excited and I can't wait Nicola to see what you make over and I hope to catch you guys on that video next week bye